Hello my dear students. How are you all? I hope all are fine. My dear children, we are studying about transportation in organisms and in the previous class we have studied about circulatory system in humans. And in this class we are going to study about the excretory system. What is an excretory system? Excretory system is a group of organs which involved in the elimination of waste materials produced in the cells. Excretion means elimination of waste materials is called excretion. Children, so you know, during the process of respiration, oxygen is taken by the cells and after metabolism, carbon dioxide produced is eliminated through the process of respiration. That means expiration or exhalation. So in the case, during the process of digestion, the waste materials produced in the body will be eliminated as undigested fecal matter. The other nutrients taken by the body also undergo metabolism. They also produces waste materials in the cells. So, the transportation system that is the blood collects all the waste materials produced in the cells and takes it to the excretory system from where the waste is eliminated. Now, let us study about the excretory system in humans. The excretory system in humans are a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, a urinary bladder and a urethra. Let us see. This is the picture of excretory system in humans. There are a pair of kidney shaped organs located on either side of the vertebral column reddish brown in color which is known as kidneys. From the kidneys arise two long tubes which collects the waste produced in the kidneys and these are called ureters. Both the ureters get attached to a large bladder like organ which is known as urinary bladder. From the urinary bladder arises a small tube which is known as urethra. Now let us see how does the process of elimination or excretion takes place in the kidneys. The waste materials produced in the cells is collected by the blood and this blood is taken to finally to the kidneys by the arteries, renal arteries. The renal arteries collect and bring the waste materials to the kidneys. And inside the kidneys there are filtering organs which filter the blood and the waste materials known as urine is collected and passes through the ureters. The blood is goes back to the heart through the veins or renal veins. The waste materials produced in the kidneys are known as urine. And this urine is collected by the ureters and finally reaches in the urinary bladder and stored there in the urinary bladder. When the urinary bladder half fills or more than half fills, the person feels the urge for urination and from the urinary bladder, the urine will be expelled out through the urethra. Now, in humans, the waste, the metabolic waste produced is in the form of 
urine or urea urea actually it is urea and it dissolves in water and forms the urine but in some other organisms for example aquatic organisms such as fish the waste materials produced as a result of metabolism is called ammonia which directly dissolves in the water since they are living in the water in lizards lizards you know uh, gecko and all uh, in lizards they produces the waste materials in the form of uric acid so you all might have seen the lizards and all uh, when they excretes there will be white colored excretion which is uric acid in humans the waste materials known as urea which dissolves in water to form the urine urine did you understand children so in excretory system in humans the excretory system is composed of a pair of kidneys a pair of ureters a urinary bladder and urethra 